Apparently my pockets on my military coat belong to someone else. And apparently the purchases that I've made for my jewelry making business on behalf of the Lord belong to someone else. And apparently the computer, the computer designs that I make now and I have in the past are being commandeered by someone else. And apparently the person who keeps molesting my body at night while I'm sleeping because they decide to play a game on me in the jail belong to someone else. Because I wake up and I look over my faith bobs that I've designed and somebody has once again changed the handles off what I'm making. Do you have any idea how pissed off God is for what you're doing in your version of taking? You have lied to yourself about where your rights begin and end. You have availed yourself of getting out of nothing again and again. Your responsibility lies with the stupidity of your fucking choices in life. And if I'm angry as a pastor, if I'm pissed off as a minister, if I'm profoundly upset as an American citizen, you better fucking believe that other people will be too. You see, in America, we have the Second Amendment, motherfuckers, and that says I have the right to defend myself, but you pansy-ass little paltry little faggot little girl don't ever give me that chance, do you? You sneak your ass into my tent, you pull up my canvas where I'm sleeping, and you think you have the right to enter in. Who the fuck said you could do that? In America, we have rights, and you fucking have a husband, so go fuck him at night and stop walking into my tent and taking my belongings and pissing all over my creation and screwing my life. And when I record these fucking audio casts, I have the right to be as passionate as I fucking want to, so you'll start thinking about your fucking life and do your life elsewhere. <laughs>